trust him at all times. I trust him at all times. I'm telling you, I'm sitting here singing and bopping like I'm about 12 years old. This is your new host, Shop Award 95.3 WLAS, right here in the soul of Anderson. And of course, today is our pretty credit Sunday, and we are joined by this the COO of Pretty Credit, Mr. Elliot Washington. Hello, Mr. Washington. Good morning, everyone. Good. Hey, good God bless morning. Yes. And we are also joined by Mr. Avery Washington, which is the son of Mr. Elliot Washington. And uh, Avery. How you doing? Good. You're doing good. Mm-hmm. See, I, I like it. I like it. he don't seem shy at all. He don't seem like this microphone is intimidating him at all. You know you got a, a, a future something, somebody right here on your hands, right? Because I asked him, I said, was this your first time in the radio station? Yes. Okay, but you're chilling. You, you know, you ain't nervous at all. That's a good thing. Welcome, you guys. And, of course, this is our Pretty Credit Sunday. And today is a, a special day. It's Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Mr. Elliot. Thank you so much. And you get to spend it with your son. Yes. How cool is that? Yes. Awesome. How cool is that? Now, you know Dad is just showing off, right? He's just showing you, you know, how he get down, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. All right. So, of course, Pretty Credit Sunday. We talk about the world of having good credit. And, you know, Mr. Elliot, we're going to... Mm-hmm. Push you to the side for a minute. I, I want to see. I want to see what the seed is catching. I, I want to see, you know, what your seed is catching. The 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 residue that has fallen off of you. I want to see how it's processing in his mind. So, Mr. Avery, mm-hmm. credit. I mean, how old are you? Thirteen. You don't know nothing about no credit, man. <laughs> he said, "Hey." So let me let me from your thirteen year old standpoint. What does having good credit mean to you? I would feel like it means like you can have a better life having good credit mm-hmm. and you can get better stuff okay. get what you want. Okay. As opposed to having bad credit. What do you think it means to have bad credit? I feel like if you have bad credit, you can't really do as much as you want and you always have to stay on top of it. But if you have good That's credit, good. then you would have to worry about it. Well, okay. You definitely got to manage it across the board, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. Yeah. But I think I understand where you're going with that. So what what is, what is uh, I guess, what are some of the nuggets that you're picking up from your father um, as to how important having good credit is? And, and I guess more importantly, what mistakes to try to avoid? What, what are you picking up from your father? I'm picking up, like, having good credit can allow you to have a nice house to stay in. Okay. And if you mess up on credit, then like it's gonna be hard for you to live right. So just having good credit is key. Having good credit is key. Now, Elliot, that touched your heart, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. I love to see you when it when it's when it sprouts like that. <laughs> That's good, and I'm gonna tell you why I wanted to hear from you, Avery. Um, as a parent. I know my utmost concern is to get it right with my kids, you know, to not only talk the talk, but allow them to see me walking that thing out, you know, and to hear your perspective on what it is, the the business, the empire, the legacy that your father is birthing right now, to know that at 13, you're grabbing a hold of that. I, I mean, I'm proud for him. I'm proud, you know, for your parents, because at the end of the day, you are the result of the decisions that we make. You know what I'm saying? So kudos to you, baby, for paying attention. Now, we talked a good talk. I want you to walk that thing out. I want you to be able to look at your friends and say, I uh-uh, know, uh, see, because my daddy said it pretty great. And if I do that, <laughs> this ain't going to work. And I want to own my own house by 21. Yeah. I want to own my own car. Come on now. And you have to speak that thing in existence. And I tell you, for me personally, um, my grandmother was one of those people that let you know, and you know, we just heard grandma hands. Grandma was one of those people that let me know at the end of the day, um, it matters what I do with my money. You know, and so I, it, it, it took me a minute to get it, but I finally got it, and I think I'm better for it, you know. So you keep going with right where you're at. And, Daddy, we're going to tap back into you after we go and pay some of these bills because I just want to hear how proud you are. And if nothing else, Mr. Washington, it seems like this should say to you, it should scream to you, Daddy, keep going. Yes. I'm watching you. 
This is Shanta Moore at 95.3 WLAS Anderson. The sounds of praise. We'll chat in a minute. Oh, proud daddy.